Hi there. Welcome to Sunday Afternoon Live here at AAA Hobbies in Magnolia, New Jersey. And we're here, like I say, at AAA Hobbies. And every weekend on Sunday at 1 o'clock, we try to take a look at either a um, technique or a product that you guys can use. And today, I thought we'd take a look at Tamiya panel liners. These are um, they're called accent panel color line. Oh, let me get it straight. Panel line accent colors. And the reason they call them that is they are developed. And this one here is a figure color, so they don't call it panel liner. Um, the reason they call them panel liners is because when you build a model of an airplane or a tank, there's always panel lines on that model. And this is the P-51 that we worked on last week and did some decal work on. As you can see, I've got all my decals on it now. It's pretty sporty. I haven't put the cockpit glass on or anything yet um, because what I'm going to do now is when we did the decals, we glossed the aircraft and then we put the decals on so that the decals blended in, if anybody was here and remembers that. And then after the decals are on, we'll put a flat coat over it to seal the decals. But before I put that flat coat on my aircraft, I'm going to accent the panel lines. And this panel liner from Tamiya is the perfect product for that. So if you look closely like at this aircraft, I don't know if you can see it on there, you can see these little panel lines. Let me go over here say right here where the access panels are for the machine guns and the ammunition, there's lines there. And it's hard to see them, as you can see, because they're not outlined. And I'm getting a real glare on that, but let me do it that way. So you can see the panel lines there. You can see there's panel lines on the fuselage and so forth. So I want to go in and outline those so that they stand out before I flat coat. And the reason for that is the panel liner works really well on a gloss surface because there's very little resistance. Flat paint um, is kind of a rough surface and that's why it's flat. It doesn't reflect light because it's kind of rough. Gloss paints reflect light and that's why they're shiny. It's smooth surface. So the panel liner works much better on a smooth surface than a rough surface. So let's talk just a little bit about this product. The product itself, like I say, is called Panel Line Accent Color. It comes in six different flavors or colors. My favorite, the one I use the most, is black. Black is great. Um, I use that on all the darker things, like on this aircraft, I'll use black. Makes things stand out. They make two different grays. They make a light gray and a dark gray. They make a brown, and brown is good for, and I have um, a German Panzer here, a Panzer IV, and you can see it's painted in um, a sand yellow. And I haven't finished doing the camouflage. You can see I started it on the front, but I brought this along to show you the brown panel liner. Um, the brown panel liner works great on earthy colors like tans and so forth. Um, they make a brown, and they also make a dark brown. So you get to choose. Um, I'll probably use the regular brown on the sand yellow, and when I get into the areas that have dark green and red brown on them, I'll use the dark brown color. And last but not least, and this is their newest liner, and this is actually called figure accent color. It's not a panel liner. This is a, a darker flesh color that's used to fill in, and I brought a figure here that we're going to do this with. This is a Tamiya Samurai kit. And you can see I painted his face flesh colored. I used Tamiya flesh, put that on yesterday, let it dry nicely, and we'll take this flesh accent color, the figure accent color, to wash it over his face and it should go into the crease areas and give you some depth, some three-dimensional effect. So what we'll do here is, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. I took a Bandai TIE Fighter and you can see the TIE Fighter over my shoulder there. This is a really great kit and I know that TIE Fighters are painted gray. It's like a blue gray. But what I did was I shot the TIE Fighter with some silver. Um, like the aircraft, just to show you how the black panel liner works. So if I hold this up to the camera here, and you look at this side of the TIE Fighter, you can see there's, there's lines there. You, you can kind of see them. But what I did was I took that black panel liner and went over it, and you can see it flows down into all the recessed areas on this guy. I'm trying to get it up to the camera here so you can see it. But see all that detail? Where there's no panel liner, it's just kind of plain Jane. 
But if I turn it this way, you can see where I put all the panel liner on it and it really jumps the detail out. So that's the purpose of the panel liner. It's to accentuate or show you all the depth that's in this model. And model makers and model companies go to a lot of effort to put a lot of detail, especially nowadays. I mean, in the past, they used to be originally when I was a kid, all the lines on a model were raised lines. And the reason for that was when they made a piece of tooling, they engraved the panel lines into the tooling. And then when they shot the plastic into it, it came out as a raised line. And that was, that was a little more difficult to work with. But nowadays, with 3D and CAD geometry and so forth, the tooling, they make it so that there's nice recessed panel lines on everything. And they go to real extremes to give you all that detail. So what you want to do is show that detail off. So using these panel liners gives you the ability to put some depth and three dimension into your model. So that being said, let's do a little bit with the panel liner. And before we start, I'm going to show you a couple of tools I use when I do the panel lining. Um, one of the most important tools that you'll use besides the panel liner itself, and I'm going to grab some of the black and you can see this one's been used. That's mine. It's got some schmutz on it. That's from me. Um, we're going to use the black and then we're going to put that on. And after I put on a panel line, like after I apply it, sometimes when you put it on, it will go outside of the line. You know, if you're careful, you'll be able to get it into the line and everything will be great. But sometimes it overflows and you'll get a little bit of excess on the outsides of the lines. So what you want to do is you want to get yourself some cotton swabs. And I use these Tamiya swabs. And everybody will tell you, Jack's, Jack's a Tamiya fanboy. I like Tamiya products. I think they're high quality. I think that they're just the best you can buy. So just about everything I use tool-wise is going to be Tamiya. If, if I can't get it from Tamiya, then I'll buy other stuff. But these Tamiya cotton swabs, they come in different shapes, different sizes. And I have two different ones here. I've got a really small one. You can see the tip on it. Really fine point tip, which is important. And then this one's a little bit bigger. And they also make rectangular shapes and squares and so forth. But these are going to come in really handy when we do our panel lining. And the other thing I use is when you do the, when you do the panel line, like I say, and there's a little bit of excess, we're going to use these to clean it off. So I'm going to go in. And these panel liners, I believe, are a lacquer acrylic base. And they suggest using an enamel thinner, just a regular turpentine enamel type thinner. Personally, I like to use this. I like to use naphtha, which thins enamels and varnishes. And it's basically a solvent. And you can buy this in any hardware store, home improvement store. It's, it's out there. It, it's easy to get. Um, but I like naphtha because... As opposed to a thinner, like an enamel thinner that you would buy, um, it doesn't soak down into the paint as quickly. So if you're pretty good and you're quick, you won't disturb the paint surface. You have to watch out for the solvent eating into the paint underneath. So make sure you use, like if you're using, I don't know, um, if you're working on acrylic, you're pretty good because enamels aren't going to eat into it. But if you paint your model with an enamel paint or a solvent based paint you have to be careful to, to not rub it in too heavy you don't want to disturb the paint surface so that being said I use naphtha and I put a little bit of naphtha in this little badger jar this little glass jar I open that up right now and I just destroyed my tank over here but I'll fix him so what I'll do is I'm gonna shake up this black you make sure your paint is mixed really well. So the panel liners come, when you open the jar, it comes with a little brush inside of it. You see that really fine tip brush. This is really good. This is, you know, a really fine pointed, it's almost like using a pen. You're going to touch it. So what I'll do is, and I'm going to put down a paper towel or two so that I don't get it everywhere. And I'm going to move and put this on here. Bear with me. We get set up to do a little bit of this. I'm gonna move my my little cutting board here. And what we'll do is um, I'll start out with. Let me bring my camera in a little bit. And I've got to be careful because I don't want to get panel liner on my laptop. I'm gonna start out with this little tie fighter, and what we'll do is we'll do a couple lines 
on this side of it where I didn't put anything. So let's, uh, this is going to be tricky because I'm trying to show you at the same time that I do it. So we'll take our panel liner and what I'll do is I'm going to go like this. So you're not looking at me actually, you're going to be looking at this. And I'm going to open up my panel liner. And just make sure when you do this, you swipe off the brush a little bit so there's not too much on there. And then basically all you do is go in and touch an edge of the, the line. And I hope you can see that. See the paint flowing down in there? I can see it. And you see how when you touch it, it just flows right around all the detail. Now, as you can see, I got a little bit of excess on this area here. So what I do is I take my Q-tip and I dip it in a little bit of this naphtha, get it wet, take off the excess on a paper towel. Then I go in and I just wipe off the areas that have the excess on them. See that? And that cleans up very nicely. So what I'm going to do also is I'm going to show you on a bigger area of this guy how this works. So what we'll do is we'll touch a little bit of the accent color to this big area that has a lot of detail, raised detail on it. So if I go in like this and I just touch this, can you see that? Can you see how all that flows right down on there? And it jumps out at you. As soon as you put this on, you'll see it jump out. Wow. I mean, that really works well. And I can't express to you how good this product is. I've done a lot of washes with various types of paint. I've used oil paint. I've used enamels. This Tamiya panel wash is probably the best pin, pin wash that I've ever used. This stuff really is good. Um, and I'm going to just touch the bottom of this. I, I don't like to leave a detail half done. Touch this down here. But you can see that. See how that jumped out? It's an amazing product, and it takes probably about 15, 20 minutes to dry. And what I'll do is I'll put this aside, and I have um, a railroad car here also. This, you can use this for everything. You can use it for military models. You can use it for model railroading. And you can see I already did some of it here. It's a little sloppy, but I did a little bit over there. So what I'll do is let me, uh, put a little bit on this side just so you can see how this works. So we'll take the panel liner, open her up, and then just touch the corners and I got to get a little bit more on this. This is a long line so I want to get a little on there. And you get a feel for this. You get a feel for how much you need to put on. But can you see that running down that line there? It really adds a lot of dimension to your model. Oh, and you can see I got a little bit of slop on there too. So let me finish this line. Run that down. Now, we'll do the same thing. We'll take the Q-tip Put a little bit of the naphtha on it, wipe off the excess, and I can just go along that line and wipe off the excess. See that? It cleans up nicely. I'll take a little bit here. Now, you can let it dry and go in with the naphtha and wipe it off. I like to do it while it's setting up. Um, some people like to let it dry first, so that's up to you. That's your decision. So that's the black. And that's used on mechanical things like um, aircraft, railroad cars. So let's take a look. And this is going to be new for me. I've never done, let me push this back up. I've never done a figure with a wash. You know, I, I usually paint in my details on my figures. Like if I take this samurai, you can see his face there, painted flesh. I would go in and I usually paint um, with acrylic paints and I hand brush in all the shadowing and shades and things like that. So we're going to have a little experiment here together and see how the figure accent color works on this flesh piece. So make sure when you're using this, and like I say, we're here at AAA Hobbies in Magnolia, New Jersey. I need to say that more. Um, I get going and I don't say it enough. Um, we're on Route 30 in Magnolia, New Jersey. If any of you guys have questions as I'm going through this, please leave a comment. I can't answer you right now because I'm by myself in the middle of this, but I'll be happy to answer any questions after the video is done. I'll go back and I'll answer your comments. So let's shake this guy up. And like I say, this is the figure accent color. And what we'll do is we'll pop this open and hopefully this will go well. I can't guarantee it, 
Well, we'll see. And I'm going to push this down again so you guys can see it. And we'll take this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this color. And I'm going to wash it across his face. Ooh, and it does work pretty well. You can see as I put it on there, it just flows down into all the nooks and crannies. And what I want to do is I'm going to shake it up just a little bit more. This has been sitting on the shelf for a while, so I'm going to make sure it's all mixed in. But you can see, you can see more of the detail now than you could before. And this works really well. I actually like this. Um, let's do just a little bit more on this side. Let me see if I can get it here so you guys can see it. Drop that in there. And you put it down around anywhere where there's creases or shadow areas. I'll put some up in here. But you can see, that works really well. I mean, it's really accentuating all the detail on this figure and giving you nice depth. Then you could go in and do your highlighting with some regular acrylic paint. So let me push this back up. And what else do I have to tell you about panel liners? I think that's about it, really. Um, so remember, it's Tamiya. There's two different types here. There's panel line accent color, which is more for aircraft armor, you know, automobiles. Like when you have doors, you can put it into the creases of the, the door panels and things like that. So just remember panels. Anything that's got a panel in it, you want to outline. And then we have the figure accent color, which would be used for your military figures, your samurais, your civilian figures to accentuate the detail in their faces. So that's about all I have for this week. Um, make sure you come back next week. And like I say, if you want to leave comments, let me know what type of products or techniques you'd like to see us do here at AAA Hobbies. We have plenty of products. We have great models. You can see behind me um, something interesting that came in this week is this Meng Fokker triplane. This is a really nice kit. This is a 132nd scale Fokker DR1 triplane. It's the Red Baron's triplane. This is a brand new kit for us here at AAA Hobbies. Come on in, check it out. This is a great kit. Um, the P51 that I showed you earlier, this guy here, that's the Ravel 132 scale kit. If you guys are interested in a World War II fighter. And maybe next week when you come back, I'll have the panel lines done on this guy and I can show you that. But remember, Tamiya panel line accent color. Six different flavors. Brown, dark brown, black, gray, light gray, and the figure accent color. So make sure to come down to AAA Hobbies in Magnolia, New Jersey. Check these great products out. And as I said, leave me some comments. Let me know what you want to see, and I'll be more than happy to show technique. Um, I will highlight products. We're coming into the model railroad season. We'll probably do some things about digital command control and railroading. So until next time, make sure to come in and see me at AAA Hobbies. I'm Jack Lynch. More than happy to answer any of your questions. I'm here all day on Sunday. So until next week at Sunday Afternoon Live at 1 o'clock, I'll see you then. Take care.